The coin market cap sums up everything that is talked about in this video. Also, don't forget to like and follow to my channel to get news about Gucci XRP and other cryptocurrencies. Look at this now. To fight the SEC, Ripple XRP works with Binance. Recent events have made it possible for Ripple to strengthen its case against the cryptocurrency regulator by using a court decision that was good for Binance. The Securities and Exchange Commission made some claims, but on June 28th, the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia partly threw those claims out. According to the claims, the sales of some cryptocurrencies were like the sales of stocks. Ripple moved quickly to take advantage of the chance that came up. For the goal of going up against the SEC, Ripple is counting on Binance. The company Ripple said that the court had agreed with the reasons Judge Annalise Sartoros gave for her July 13, 2023 decision in the case against the cryptocurrency regulator. Judge Amy Berman Jackson talked about this decision in her ruling on the Binance case. This decision set deals on the secondary market apart from sales made by institutions. This decision was made in reaction to what District Judge Jed Rakoff said. He thinks that the way that cryptocurrencies were sold shouldn't affect how legal they are. However, the court said that the SEC's plan to control the cryptocurrency business through lawsuits was flawed because it didn't give enough information to those involved. A prize of 20 euros for signing up for BitFo through this link. Perhaps the SEC's being too harsh on Ripple because it is an affiliate plan. Ripple saw these comments as proof of its claim that it is important to make clear what the legal position of cryptocurrencies or cryptocurrencies or cryptocurrencies is. According to the notice that the company also sent out, this regulation ambiguity shows that the company did not break the law willfully while it was selling XRP. Because of this, the SEC's desire for a harsh punishment is called into question. That case makes it clear that rules for the Bitcoin business are hard to understand and very important. In a world where regulations are always changing, Ripple and other companies in the industry are working hard to find solutions to these problems. With this court ruling potentially having an effect on the future of digital asset regulation, investors and other market players need to stay up to date on these changes. These events might not only affect current court cases, but they might also change how crypto is seen and how it is used around the world. Coinbase and Ripple Labs are trying to make their cases stronger with the US Securities and Exchange Commission. They are pointing out a recent order that gave Binance a win when it comes to how secondary sales of cryptocurrency are set up. Each of Coinbase and Ripple has said several times in the last few days that the documents they have filed in their cases are not clear enough about how to regulate cryptocurrencies. This is what Coinbase said in a court document on Tuesday. Binance also backs making the SEC take part in making rules about digital assets. As the company wrote, Coinbase has noticed that new rules need to be made because the Securities and Exchange Commission has taken a new and broad view of the securities laws which is still not clear. The CC has never made this point of view clear, but it is trying to force it on the digital asset market by taking a scorched earth method. That's the claim that was thrown out, along with its case against Binance. Right away, lawyers for Ripple are using this decision to help them in their own case against the government. After making short-term gains at the start of the week on Tuesday, the altcoin market has lost a lot of those gains. Despite this, XRP has been able to keep some of its bullish momentum thanks to a major court decision in the Securities and Exchange Commission's case against Binance. Ripple has now used this decision in its current battle with the regulator. One reason for this being the case is this. Michael Kellogg, Ripple's lawyer, wrote a letter to Judge Annalisa Torres in which he said that Binance's recent decision supports Ripple's claim that its illegal sales of XRP do not deserve harsh punishments, as the SEC says. Last week, Securities and Exchange Commission Bill Koken said that transactions on the secondary market were the same as transactions on the primary market. Judge Amy Berman Jackson said that those claims were false. By firing her, the Securities and Exchange Commission was criticized for its choice to watch over this billion-dollar business through lawsuits, which was seen as inefficient and left the right people without clear direction. Ripple said that the most important part of the court's summary judgment order was making it clear that the different types of XRP sales were allowed. They also said that this comment supports their case. Around a year ago, when Taurus made its decision about Ripple, the value of XRP rose by about 70% in one day, and it was relisted on a number of big exchanges. The case also set a key point of reference for the cryptocurrency industry and its ongoing fights with the Securities and Exchange Commission over whether or not more crypto assets or sales were unregistered securities. Attorney Rispoli said that the case between the SEC and Ripple would likely be over on July 31st when asked when asked when it might be over. He also says that the idea that it might end on July 13th is a beautiful twist. The choice made by federal court judge analyst Sartorias on the same day last year is taken into account here. When sold to the public, XRP is thought of as a commodity. The court decides that Ripple's sales of XRP to institutions were an illegal offer and sale of investment contracts, which is against Section 5 of the Securities Act. 
Once the court thought about everything that happened with the institutional sales, it came to this decision. This decision is still being felt today because of how important it was. The Ripple community had a big day that day because the price of XRP went up by more than 100%. Skeptics, on the other hand, stayed out of the action because of what had happened before. Based on Judge Torres's ruling, Judge Amy Berman Jackson of the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia partially threw out some of the claims that the regulator had made against buyers in connection with the sale of BNB on the secondary market. There wasn't enough proof from the Securities and Exchange Commission to show that the sales of BNB tokens on cryptocurrency exchanges were securities deals, the court said. Furthermore, the court did not agree with the SEC's claim that Binance's bust stablecoin, which is backed by real currency, is an investment contract. There were some claims made by the SEC that were turned down by the court, but the judge did let some claims go forward at this point. A part of Binance's press statement said, however, we expect that the SEC will have a very hard time proving these claims. The United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC's use of lawsuits as a way to keep an eye on the business was questioned by Judge Jackson. If you ask the court, they think this doesn't work because it doesn't give enough information about the important people. Please be aware that the information given is not meant to be taken as business advice. Any purchases made based on the information on this page are not the responsibility of the people who made them. Before making any investment decisions, you should definitely do your own study and talk to a professional who knows what they're talking about.